Oh, hi! The Mavic Air is loud! Well, maybe not for long. Let's check them out. Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If this happens to be your first time here, my name is Russ and this is 51 Drones. If you get anything of value today or you like any of my other content, click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So the Mavic Air is noisy. We all know that and it probably is the biggest issue that I don't fly my Mavic Air on a regular basis. I have three drones. I have the Mavic Pro, the Mavic 2 Pro, and the Mavic Air. And when the Mavic Air is up in the air, people run for the hills because it sounds like a swarm of bees is coming to get them. And, and so it is one of the biggest reasons that, that I don't fly it very much. And so I found these Master Air Screw uh, propellers for the Mavic Air. They just came out recently and uh, watched a couple of reviews on them. And so I decided to order a pair myself. I did pay for these. So we're just gonna get right down to business. First, we're gonna check the decibel level on the stock propellers of the Mavic Air. Now, another thing that I want you guys to pay attention to, it's not just the decibel level, but it's also the pitch. I think the biggest issue on the Mavic Air is it's such a high pitched noise that makes it more annoying. So hopefully not only these are gonna be quieter, but hopefully the pitch is a little better too. So I'll show you the decibels of that one and then I'll put on the master air screws, show you the decibels of those. And then also I wanna compare how it sounds to the Mavic Pro with the quiet propellers, the low noise propellers, and then also the Mavic 2 Pro at the very end. So let's get to it. All right, we are about eight feet away from the camera. And so I'll just show you guys the decibel meter uh, numbers on my phone here. Of course, it's probably not the most exact, but it'll show us the difference between the stock propellers and the master air screws. So I'm just gonna let it hover for a little bit, show you the decibels, and then I'll do some punches. I'll punch it up and, uh, and see what our maximum is on that as well. So here we go. All right, let's put on the master air screws. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm not a huge unboxing guy, but people do like to see what you get when you order something. So um, not much in here. You get a set of four uh, master air screw propellers in this nice little carrying case. You get uh, a little instruction, safety instruction, manual, and you get a sticker for master air screw to put on your drone case. So very nice. And then also I wanna show you the, um, the difference between uh, the stock propellers and the master air screw. So let's put these side by side. Now I'm probably gonna put up some B-roll here just because this is gonna be difficult to see out here with, uh, with the lighting. When you take a look at the propellers, you can see that they are uh, a little bit different. The master air screw is definitely thinner. Seems like it's a little more flimsy, lighter plastic where the stock propellers are stiffer, uh, more rigid. Also the master air screw are just a little bit wider uh, than the stock propellers. And then finally the pitch is a little bit different. So they are a little bit different. As far as weight, they're about the same. Um, I just put them on my kitchen scale, which doesn't get down that low, but I put all four stock propellers on there. It came out to three eighths of an ounce. And then I put all four of the master air screw and those also showed up at three eighths of an ounce. So let's put on these master air screw and uh, see how much of a difference they make. All right, master air screw propellers, here we go. Wow, it's impressive.
right, so definitely much quieter and also much lower pitch. So not quite as annoying as it normally is with the stock propellers. Now, one thing that I did notice, gets a little bit of shaking in there. I don't know if you remember last year when the Mavic Air was having those shaking troubles um, due to, uh, I don't know, remember what it was, but a firmware update fixed that. Kind of had that same thing going on right now with these propellers. And also I did watch a video from Big Drone Flyer 77. Uh, I'll, I'll put that right up here. Go ahead and watch that. He also tested out these propellers and he found that when he was flying in sport mode that he got a motor error but that it only happened in sport mode. It didn't happen in um, P mode, in regular mode. So, um, you know, maybe a little bit of issue with the, um, with the propellers when it comes to flying in sport mode and then also in hovering. But, uh, but I did notice that little bit of a quiver there. So now let's put up the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro and see what those um, audible levels are. Okay, so the Mavic Air with the Master Air Screw on are about the same volume as the Mavic Pro with the low noise propellers on. So, pretty impressive. Let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up and see how that sounds. All right, so there you have it, the master air screw propellers for the Mavic Air. They definitely make a huge difference. With these propellers on, they are about the same noise level as the Mavic Pro with the low noise propellers and pretty close to the same as the Mavic 2 Pro, according to my preliminary numbers. I'll put them all up on the screen here so you guys can compare. But for me, the biggest thing is the pitch. The pitch is much lower and not quite as Annoying, I guess is the best word. It really is annoying. Okay, so I was editing this video from this morning and I realized it would be kind of cool to see if the flight time is affected at all by using the master air screw. So first off, we're gonna do the stock propellers on the Mavic Air and see how long we can fly. I think what I'm gonna do is a point of interest and see what happens. So I'll do a time lapse really quickly and I'll put the final uh, flight time for both of them up on the screen. All right, we are at 1526 before we return to home automatically. So 1526, 50 minutes, 26 seconds with the stock propellers. Let's go ahead and put on the master air screw and see how they do. All right, master air screw, and we'll go down to 20%, see what the time is. All right, we are at 15.05, 15, 15 minutes and five seconds uh, before the return to home kicked in. So actually less, I actually got less flight time, about 30 seconds, so really not that significant, but, uh, but I expected it to do a little bit better. I thought there would be more flight time. So that's with zero wind, there's no wind at all today, running a point of interest mission and both of them were exactly the same. So useful information. I'm sure if I did repeated tests, they might show different numbers. If I just did straight up flying and if I did sport mode, that may make a difference. So lots of different variables, but, uh, but I didn't get any difference in this flight. Okay, let's finish this up. So if you're interested in getting a set of these for your Mavic Air, I'll put a link in the description for the Master Air Screw website. They are pretty new yet, so you can only get them straight from Master Air Screw. But I got mine, I ordered them, and I got them I think seven days later. So not too bad. Eventually they will be on Amazon, and as soon as they are, I'll put a link in the description for those as well. Hey, today what I'd like you guys to comment down below is, 
Give me some ideas for testing that you would like to see between the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Air, and the Mavic 2 Pro. You know, I considered selling my Mavic Air, and I've been considering it for a while now because I really don't use it much, mostly because of the noise. And so I think this probably is gonna make a huge difference in where I fly this thing because I won't be afraid to fly it and annoy somebody. So let me know of any ideas that you have of comparisons that you'd like to see between those three drones. If you got anything of value today, please click on that thumbs up button. Let me know that you liked it. I wanna thank you guys for watching today. I hope you have a great day. As always, fly safe and fly smart.